dehydrohalogenation through elimination is the elimination or removal of a hydrogen halide from a haloalkane to produce an alkene. This reaction can only happen on condition that there is a strong base present in ethanol, that strong base being either potassium or sodium hydroxide, and that this solution is heated under reflux. Under reflux refers to it being in a closed container. So as an example here, we have 2-iodobutane, and when this is placed in a strong basic solution in ethanol and heated under reflux, we find that we are able to remove an iodine as well as a hydrogen atom, and we use Zaitsev's rule once again to determine which hydrogen atom is removed, and Zaitsev's rule tells us that we will always remove the hydrogen atom from the carbon that has the least or the fewest which over here is this carbon, as this carbon only has two hydrogens, and as a result, our main product would then be but2-ene, as well as obviously the hydrogen iodide that is formed. A byproduct, one that is formed um, not by Zaitsev's rule, but1-ene does exist, but happens very rarely, and so as a result, when we write this equation out, we would write that 2 iodobutane react to form but2-ene and hydrogen iodide, we do not need to specify what the byproduct is.